Hello and welcome to Blockchain Global News. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ Market Site in Times Square. And today our guests are Valerie Chernick, the founder and CEO of Imageize, also Mike Chernick, the director of the company, and Sean Brizendine, a member of the Board of Advisors. So welcome. So uh, Valerie, let's start with you. Give me an overview of what Imageize is. Hello, Jane. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I will briefly present our Imageize service blockchain project. It won't be a mistake if I say that most of you have tried to buy shoes and clothes online and have faced a problem of non-fitting sizes. And we solved this problem. Now, with our shoes and clothes contactless fitting service, Imageize allows each buyer to safely purchase shoes and soon the clothes online that suit them, not only in size, but also in comfort. What is the core of our innovative and revolutionary project? Three focal points. First, we've learned how to measure the internal volume of the shoe and clothing in 3D format. This is a scientific and technological breakthrough in solving virtual fitting of shoes and clothing. Our patents is passing the national placement in the USA, EU, China, Japan, Russia. Our second achievement is a 3D measurement of feet and soon the whole body of the buyer using a mobile app Imiscan. Finally, our third solution is the algorithm for selecting the size of shoes and clothes based on AI. It creates a personal comfort profile for each customer. For buyers, a personal digital profile of comfort is the insurance of a purchase of a suitable size. Why do we hold the token sale? We are creating a new ecosystem on the online market using the blockchain technology. But why can't we make it without the blockchain? The fact of the matter is, in our service, we receive and operate customers' personal anthropometric data. Basically, we have a digital anthropometric 3D clone of each user. This is very valuable information and it needs to be protected. Blockchain provides this protection. We are scaling our service to the world market. Our most immediate task is to launch the service on the American market to start cooperation with the largest online stores. In August, at the World Exhibition of Shoes in Shanghai, where we will be physically demonstrate the service. We have scheduled meetings and negotiations with major world brands. For the shops to work with digitized footwear and clothing, we will start building centers for digital measurements of internal volume of clothes and shoes in the locations of main global production in China, Thailand, Vietnam. We intend to build at least 20 such centers. Join our project and we will change the world of e-commerce. We'll transfer the routine and tedious procedure of fitting clothes and shoes to digital technologies. Okay. Um, Mike, could you tell us a little bit about how you're trying to revolutionize the retail clothing industry? Um, so. According to the statistics, uh, online stores get um, up to 60% or even more returns of goods um, due to their unfitting, unfitting size. Um, makers' um, size markings of each individual maker differ from markings of another maker. And uh, each maker has uh, their own last and uh, brand uh, patterns. So online stores uh, are not able to foresee what will be the best size for the online shopper. Mm -hmm. it, to, in order to somehow solve the question, they bring three to four pairs of, of shoes or piece of clothes in hope that at least one will see the, uh, the customer. All unfitting items then return to the central warehouse and uh, given the location of the warehouses in different cities, these are big expenditures. Mm -hmm. And uh, market-wise, these are huge expenses. So this is, it reduces a lot of waste. Uh, yes, in another question, the more important that from 60 to 90 percent of online on shoppers, they mistrust purchases online. Uh, for the U.S., uh, it's about 70 percent. Uh, they dislike to bother with the refining of payments, uh, return of goods, uh, etc. So uh, shoemakers, 
uh, they produce models that may not fit uh, local customers. And uh, sometimes makers from China, they produce uh, and supply goods for other countries without taking into account that the goods will not fit the local customers. This is the reality of the market or the online market. So high return rates and uh, purchasing pig and pork in a hope to get the at least one fitting thing. Mm -hmm. Now, so Sean, how does blockchain help eliminate some of this waste and just make it easier for the manufacturers as well as the customers? Well, thank you, Jane. As you know, um, blockchain streamlines everything in the industry these days, logistically and you know basically storing the anthropometric data of the individuals, for instance, um, you know, foot, and you know, so that it, they're able to get the correct size shoes and clothing, for that matter, and not have to send, you know, send back or order three pairs of shoes and five pairs of pants, and you know, logistically and carbon footprints. It's just so much better, and the, you know, most of all, with blockchain is the security, yes. you know. So, and you've been involved in some blockchain projects in the past as well. Can you tell me about? all your experience in this? Area? Indeed. I've, I've been around since 2011 when I began researching um, Bitcoin and the blockchain. And um, <clears throat> I've been involved in the historic Trudev project, um, currently, currently involved with Mandala Exchange, uh, Multiven, Super, um, OnLive, and as well um, FuturaCoin. And um, yeah, I've <laughs> been just doing it forever. <laughs> You've been a lot. <laughs> So, uh, Mike, tell me the solution then that you're offering to the problem. Uh, yes, uh, we've got a solution. Uh, we, we have what online stores need. Uh, detailed anthropometric information on uh, buyer um, in 3D format, uh, including his comfort profile, uh, which created based on all uh, his purchases uh, of footwear and clothing in various shops. So this is one unique uh, customer's profile, universal for online shops, uh, access to which a uh, customer controls himself. Mm -hmm. Okay, and anything else about that? Um, yes, the, uh, how it works. Um, um, online buyer, uh, he creates a 3D model using our mobile application. It's iOS, Android, everything is free. Um, and uh, while purchasing goods uh, in online stores connected to Imageize, he leaves feedbacks uh, on the, about the comfort of each uh, model if purchased item, and uh, he creates his own very personal uh, profile of comfort. Mm -hmm. uh, we transfer into 3D format the whole sales range of online store, our partner. We do it in our uh, measuring, ce uh, measuring centers. We plan to open up to 20 measuring centers in uh, locations of production of footwear and clothes. China, Vietnam, Korea, etc. Mm -hmm. And uh, artificial, our uh, algorithm based on artificial intelligence um, in real time uh, select, uh, select the best fitting size for the person and shows the level of comfort for the uh, expected level of comfort uh, for, the, for the product. Thus, uh, the, the buyer needs only to select the style he or she likes and delegate all the questions related to size and comfort to the uh, smart digital service. Okay, and what is the status of the product now? Um, good. Imageize is not MVP or concept. It's really a working business. Uh, for three years working on the project, we achieved um, extremely positive results. So, um, we create um, precise, high-precision 3D models of internal models of internal volumes, and uh, these provide us with a high accuracy contactless fitting. Image, by the moment, Imageize is the industrial measuring centers with capacity of two million uh, scanned uh, digitized uh, pairs of shoes, uh, mobile application, Android iOS, and uh, we have launched the uh, project on a test market in Russia. Um, we have our customers are three largest online stores with uh, over 100 million end users. And our goal for the ICO is to launch the project globally, USA, Europe, China, Japan, South Korea. Okay, and then Mike, tell us a little bit about the token offering and the ICO process. Where are you with that? Um, actually, we're on a uh, pre-sale stage. Um, it's a early stage, or, and uh, for this, um, for this stage, we offer um, very special conditions and um, with a substantial bonus um, 
depending on the uh, participation amount and our general talking event will be scheduled uh, on uh, late uh, September. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, thank you very much for coming and explaining Imagize. Best of luck to you as you pursue this and uh, grow your company. So thank you, Sean, and Mike, and Valerie for coming to join thank us you. at the NASDAQ thank today. You. Thank you very much. And thank you as well for joining us on Blockchain Global News. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ. Have a great day.